Let's say it's Valentine's Day and you want to give the most romantic gift in the world. What are you going to go with? You could get roses, maybe tickets to a show, even chocolates. Well, those would all be wrong because the correct answer is poison. Just ask these guys. You know that feeling of butterflies in your stomach when you're in love? Well, you better hope it's not these butterflies because they're deadly poisonous. So today we're talking butterflies that give the gift of poison in the name of love. We've been on a journey in the Amazon that has made us hit the boats to see wildlife and hit the trails to see wildlife. And we have seen some absolutely incredible animals out here. But in all my years of working in the rainforest, I've never seen this many of these dashing and romantic butterflies in one place. So I had to take advantage of it and get in there and see what we could find. So why would a butterfly like this want to give the gift of poison? Well, the answer is that it's not just any old gift. This is a nuptial gift. Nuptial gifts are found throughout insects and are essentially a supplemental gift that male animals transfer to females during courtship and mating. It's the same reason behind some praying mantis males donating their whole body to the female to be eaten, or why male butterflies will swarm ashore like this to drink minerals, or even turtle tears to drink minerals too. Both protein and salt are extremely valuable resources for the female in developing lots of healthy and fertilized eggs. But proteins and minerals are one thing. The gift of poison? That's unique to these butterflies and some moths. These astro flowers in the group Eupatoriae are poisonous to almost everything, including you and me. To defend themselves from being eaten, they make pyrolizidine alkaloids, which is a type of toxin that is, well, pretty darn toxic. But these male butterflies come from all over the rainforest to drink their nectar full of this toxic stuff. Pretty weird, right? The butterflies fly around sniffing the air with their antennae to find a suitable flower with the right amount of fresh nectar and poison in there. And then they dig in. As you can tell by the variety of butterflies around me, it's not just one species we're talking about here that swarms these flowers. There are dozens of species in this Ithomini group that have all evolved to drink the poison of these flowers without getting infected. In fact, they actually incorporate it into their own body so they become toxic and poisonous themselves. They then drink even more on top of that and incorporate it into their spermatophore, which is essentially a fancy word for a sperm package with a bow on top. So you heard right, they drink poison to become poison. This is an anti-predator defense against birds, lizards, and even spiders that matches the bright warning coloration of some of these butterflies saying, don't eat me, I'm toxic. When the male mates with the female, he gives her sperm and that nuptial gift of poison so she's protected too. In fact, he gives up to 50% of what he's accumulated on these flowers as a gift to her. But we're talking about romance, right? Well, let's get to it. The story doesn't end there. In fact, the story is just beginning. That poison goes from the male to the female, and then on to the next generation and protects their eggs. That sounds like being a pretty good dad, and being a good dad, that's romantic. So there you have it, folks. These beautiful butterflies have evolved over millions of years to give this really strange gift. This single moment of sipping on a flower has deeper meaning in the chemical ecology of this forest, as these pyrolizidine alkaloids travel from butterfly to butterfly to egg with this purpose of protection. If poison isn't your thing, maybe see what she's into. Now, in this case, this female is feeding on, oh, that's, that's bird poop. She's feeding on bird poop for the nitrogen in there. So if she's into that, I guess, um, yeah, there you have it. Nature is pretty weird. Poison and bird poop and romance. I love it. See you next time on The Jungle Diaries.